Yo guys, what is up? It's Nick, and today, well, most of the stuff is going to be from yesterday or Thursday-ish, um, but uh, I got some updates for you with whatnot and all this stuff. Uh, a couple new cards came out, uh, just finished up the coin up, uh, the Julio Jones or the Tom Brady. Uh, I was leaning towards Julio Jones, but I'm just going to put my faith in Tom Brady. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put my faith in who I believe is the best quarterback uh, ever. Um, maybe not right now with his receiving, but I do believe he's the best quarterback ever. Um, I could make a huge long video discussing and telling you why all these facts and whatnot, but it's not worth it because you're either going to agree with me or you're not. So um, if you truly want to see that video, let me know. But let me go to, I don't think I sent him to my reserves. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, where is it? Is it weekly? Yes. I'm going to switch him for Tom Brady. Go in Julio. Um, I don't know if I told this in a video or just to my friend. I think they should have it like, um, Julio Jones or, like, Kenbrel Tompkins. And then you get the Kenbrel Tompkins first. And if you put him in, you get a thousand coins. But, um, the Julio Jones, you know, would give you more coins if he scores a touchdown. Something like that makes you think and makes you either take the for sure coins or make you take um, the risk. Uh, I think it add a little bit more uniqueness because people just, it's just a 50-50 shot. Um, also they released the new Football Outsider limited edition card which is the Eric Decker. Who, If you want a limited edition card, this card really isn't that expensive. Um, if you're looking to pick up a limited edition, he is only 160000 i um, wondering if this is the same person that has both of those. Uh, his stats are decent. Um, they're not that great. I mean, 160,000, you might as well just go buy Megatron or Steve Largent, Michael Irvin, anybody really. There's Andre Johnson. There's a lot of cards you can get that are better than this Eric Decker. But I mean, if you're a Broncos fan, you want a limited edition, uh, you're running speed run, uh, there's a bunch of different reasons why you'd want to get that card. Uh, also, they released some new legendaries, both of which I want to get. Uh, first is the one that I really want to get, and it's Fred Bolitnikov, uh, which there's none up, so hold on, I'll have to go trade block. But uh, Fred Bolitnikov, and then we've got uh, Ronnie Lott, who's worth a crap ton. He has a 98 overall. Um, he is 1 million coins. I uh, also want to get the Rod Woodson, uh, but. Uh, Ronnie Lott. I'll show. I'll tell you guys their chemistry in a minute. We'll go look at the collections and we can look at their chemistry. But not my trade block. I got my coins back up. I sold some of my gold co coaches. I have my reserves. I still have that Lawrence Timmons on the auction. If somebody wants to go help me out, buy that. Uh, but let's go. What legendary wide receiver? Please be a Fred Bolitnikov up. Yeah, there he is. Um, Fred Bolitnikov, 97 overall wide receiver, Raiders. Uh, really good receiving stats, 97 route running, 99 catching, 97 catching traffic, 97 sweat catch, and 93 release. Not the fastest player out there, but who cares? He's got amazing receiving stats. Um, put him as your number two or one even, and let him go to town and make sh let him catch those balls, or even play him as a slot, depending on how good your team is. I'd probably run him as a two and put Deshaun as my uh, slot receiver. Uh, let's go look at their collections and we can see what chemistry they are. Uh, legendary. Okay. Uh, oh, they also released the Mar Marshall Falk uh, Madden 25 collection. I did not know this. Um, it's exactly like the Dion. Uh, really not worth doing, I guess. Uh, it's gonna cost you a crap ton, just like the Dion. I don't know how I'm gonna get that Vic card when it comes out. Uh, I'm either going to need a lot of help or a lot of luck. We'll see, though. I will try my absolute hardest to get my hands on that. Um, if it costs me my whole team and I have to run around with, like, a 90 overall pick <laughs> until I can get my coins back up, I might actually consider doing it. Uh, but that's a why it weighs out. It seems like they're releasing some of the most popular players first, and Dion and Marshall. I'm guess Oh, my gosh. We're going to get a Brian Finner in. Who wants that card? I want to know who's going to do that collection. If you're going to do that Brian Finnerin collection when it comes out, shake my I shake my head. But Fred Bolitnikoff is short pass, which is awesome because my chemistry is short pass. Ronnie Lott is run stuff, which kind of makes sense. Uh -huh. But 
uh, Fred Bulletnikov, that can help me out. I could actually get two legends in Fred Bulletnikov. Um, what you want to call it? Fred Bulletnikov and Evil Argent. Also could get um, what's his face? I could also get where? Where is he? Could get Steve Largent, John Mackey. Where is Gene Upshaw? Where is his collection? There he is. He oh, he's long past. Never mind. Thought it was short. Uh, could get Warren Moon, uh, but I actually. I have that Aaron Rodgers, and I really don't want to buy another quarterback unless it's a Vic or a really good Brady, like a numbered Brady. Um, other than that, I'm not really going to buy any quarterbacks anymore unless I snipe like a Warren Moon, then I'll keep him. But other than that, no, nah, I'm, not, I'm not really going to keep him. Uh, but that Marshall Falk collection, that's interesting. Um, they also, also, uh, they fixed, speaking of the Marshall Falk and Dion, they fixed the legendary collectible so you can search by team or like legendary, let me see here, I'll look for the Vic collectible. Let's see here, Falcons. I hate this when my auction gets jacked up. See, yeah, you can look at the Vic, Finnerin, uh, Primetime, where is that one? How much is that one? The Primetime Falcons Dion, uh, Primetime is 145 and Falcons Dion is 115. Uh, it's just, just ridiculous. It's like a million coins. To compl it's over a million. I did a, the math one time. I think it's down. I think it's about two million uh, to get that Dion done. So if I want to get that Vic, I'm going to have to start saving up. I need to really pray that Vic gets a numbered card. So I just get that and be happy with that. Um, but they're not doing it by their actual overall. Uh, just to let you guys know because um, the Dion's a 98 on the actual Madden 25 team is a 99. So I don't actually know what the Marshall Folk is going to be. Um, they're on the Marshall Folk. Oh, that's an Atlanta face I was looking for. Oh, he's actually, one of his collectibles already 77,000, 90,000, 125,000, 130,000. Marshall Folk might be easier to complete. Uh, 150. You might actually be able to do this one for like 1.5 mil already, which means soon it'll be like 800,000 by like the end of the week. Um, as soon as I get my paycheck, uh, my last paycheck from work, I'll try to get a 50-pack bundle for you guys and open it up, because uh, I know you guys like seeing pack openings, and I really haven't done all that much. I promised like two 50-packs, and I never did them because um, I'm in college, so I had to buy like groceries and stuff like that. I had to mix up with my books, <coughs> so I had to buy, I had to buy one of those. I just had a bunch of mix-ups, and I had to buy a bunch of other stuff, but I'll try the next time I get money to get a 50-pack uh, bundle, or at least like a 15 or something to show you guys, because I know you enjoy that. Um, but that's huge that they fixed the stupid collectible thing, so now you can search by teams. Um, let's see here. You can't sell that berry, but let me see if I... I was going to show you the stats on the berry and the Dion, but you can't get the berry. Uh, there is a kid on YouTube that has completed both collections, if you want to go look him up. Um... You can see them Let's see here. There was a Dion on the auction the other day for like 10 million, and there was a, one on the trade block. Let me see if it's still on the trade block. Legendary DB. I don't know what he's looking for by putting it up there. Um, there, yep, yeah, there's two Dion's up. Uh, gives it to zone defensive man, which I could actually use it for my man. The tackle is ass. Like, look at that. Nine, 36 tackle. Look at everything else except press. Uh, 97 speed, 97 agility, 97 awareness, 97 zone, and 97 play, play rec, and then 99 man, 77 press, and 36 tackle. It's nowhere near, like, the price they want, so I don't know quite, like, it's not as, like, look at Dick Lane. Dick Lane's got some good stats, and he's about 1.8 million cheaper. You get Rod Woodson, wherever he is, is he not even, there he is. Uh, Woodson, you know, look at his stats. They're pretty darn good. His press is better. His tackle is way, 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 way better. Um, and he's about 1.7 cheaper. So I don't know. Uh, the Dion's not really worth it. Until it comes down way, 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 way down in price. Um, oh no, it's not, it's not worth it whatsoever. But if you want to help me out, help me start saving my coins for a numbered Vic or that stupid Vic collection, uh, go buy my Lord's Timmons. Uh, the bid 777. I think the buy it is like 8999. Uh, so if you want to help a brother out, go buy that. Um, I'll hit you guys with another video tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I'm still working on 
editing connected franchise, trying to see how good I try my hand at it. Uh, but I will catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.